I don't know why, but this jobless seems a little light. And I don't know if this was purposeful, but I don't know. We'll talk about that in a moment. But what is up, YouTube? Welcome to Solid and welcome to yet another video. In this video, we are going to go over this week's Supreme Dropless. We're going to discuss what I think will resell, what I think you should go for, and what I will personally probably potentially maybe, I don't know, be going for. Now, this week is headlined by the Supreme North Face collaboration. I definitely have mixed opinions about that collab. Now, that being said, if you guys would like to see a live cop of this week, make sure you smash the like button down below. If this video gets 1,500 likes i will do a live cop tomorrow i don't really want to do a live cop tomorrow but i'll tell you what not only will i do a live cop if this video gets 1500 likes this video gets 2000 likes more than that so 3500 likes i need a lot of likes because i have nowhere to put this thing i will cop the supreme arcade mortal Kombat thing that's like 700 something freaking dollars for an arcade machine that i have I, I don't know what i would i literally have no idea what i would do with it which is why i'm asking for so many freaking likes before i cop that thing what am i gonna do with it that being said who knows maybe it'll be like the pinball machine but this is also a couple years later so maybe it'll brick and i'll just be out 700 dollars <laughs> now before i get into my mixed opinions about the supreme north face collaboration definitely check out the top link in the description which will be a link to the lace network which is my cook group that i'm a part of or the cook group that i'm a part of it's not my cook group but you know what i'm saying it's like family over there so it's basically like mine all right now if you want to secure any of the items from any supreme release which we do have cross box logo tees coming up very soon well i should say we are rumored to see cross box logo tees coming up very soon a lot of people are saying three box logos this season and i heard some rumors that box logo tees are dropping so those are coming up also we have obviously this tnf release and if you really want to release really anything from any supreme release and especially any sneaker release check out that top link in the description use my code star s-t-a-r-r for 50 percent off your membership obviously the group will run slots for you for any release that you want to help secure your items they have a complete raffle list which is extremely helpful I actually just copy habibi dunks thanks to that complete site list early links tons of other tools to help ensure you cop the sneakers that you are going for and i know a lot of people look at cook groups like it's meant for botters but i look at the lace network like it helps provide tools for people who are manual people who don't have access to these bots that are worth thousands of dollars and it helps give them tools that will help increase their odds of actually copying these pieces and fight back against the bots Now that being said, not only does it have all these features as well as a bunch of other features, but like I always tell you guys, all VIP members do get Cardinal completely free. Cardinal is a premium autofill service that works on Supreme. It works exceptionally well on Shopify sites like Palace, Kith, Union, tons of other sites, basically every single e-commerce site, it works extremely well on. And all VIP members in the Lace Network get it completely free. So if you want to sign up, check out that top link in the description. Use my code STAR, S-T-A-R-R, 50% off. And literally all it takes is that one W. Literally, the Habibi Dunks alone would have paid for your membership for quite some time. And I know not everyone is a reseller. I get that. And if you do join, I still recommend you get involved in reselling just to get a little bit of extra supplemental income. Even if you are watching this and you do not resell, it's a good recommendation just so you can have a little bit of extra money for you and your fam. As you guys know, personally I resell full-time so let's get these resale predictions and kind of talk about what I expect to see this week. And first, we'll start off by talking about my mixed opinions about this Supreme North Face collaboration. Now, first of all, the jacket, the Nupsy, is $578. I don't believe any Elmos or Grinches were harmed in the making of this jacket. I don't believe they were actually skinned Elmo or Grinch alive, but it does look heavily Grinch slash Elmo inspired. Elmo's got the bitches lining up! Elmo's a pimp! But it also seems really oddly themed for the time. The unseen item is uh, stocking, which is like like this year's Christmas seasonal item. This Kris Kringle Santa looking ass jacket, it literally looks like if Santa was a hype beast, this is the jacket he would wear. Then the green, which I actually think is a beautiful color, looks like a fucking Christmas tree. And the black, I mean, that just that just looks like a beautiful wax Brazilian. I will say the mock-up seemed a little bit better. I'm not a big fan of this release, although I will say when I first saw it, I kind of liked it and I do appreciate it. I at least appreciate that it's not just some over-the-top branded piece. They're trying something different and I respect that, but these colors are just not it for me. I think the only colorway that I really like is that green color. The green color is actually beautiful looking, but at $578, I just don't know if I can justify that price tag. Then we have the backpacks, which are $198. Major cock smoking prices and then you have the waist bags at 110 bucks in reality the nubsy should have been 498 the backpack should have been 148 and the waist bag should have been 88 98 max i don't care if it's made with elmo's pubic hair that does not mean that you need to add 200 dollars 50 dollars and 30 dollars respectively to these freaking pieces that is ridiculous but if it's anything like the leather nubsy it might actually resell i i don't have faith in it 
and I probably won't go for any of these pieces. I might end up going for the waist bag. I don't know, man. I just really don't see that much potential in these pieces. The leather Nupsy retailed at $1,000. I believe it was $9.98. Maybe it was a little bit more, and that's actually reselling, but I just don't know if I have as much faith in this piece as I did. Well, I, honestly, I didn't even have faith in the leather Nupsy, though, but the leather Nupsy, honestly, they use a lot more classic colors. It seems a lot more wearable, and I just feel like this piece, in my personal opinion, is not as wearable. You're going to have Elmo's pubic hair, like, caressing your neck. Elmo's a pimp! I don't know. Just for me personally. Damn, boy. It's not good. Not to mention the waist bag is basically like Elmo's ball sack. I don't really know if I'm going to go for any of these. I might get a waist bag, maybe a black one, maybe a green one. I definitely don't want that Santa suit, the Santa hype beast suit. I can already see the hype beast photos. The green one in a freaking like Christmas tree farm, and then the red one dressed up as Santa Claus with a big sack. I, I can already see the hype beast photos coming now. That being said, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram for some little fit pics. You know what I'm saying? The star like T H E S T A R L I F E Z. Be somewhere on the screen in the description down below. But anyways, moving on, we have a couple other goodies that uh. I think we'll do all right. So first of all, we have the stocking, $88, ridiculous. Cock smoking prices for a stocking. I don't know why that would resale. I think that's gonna be a break just because of what it is, but it is a cool accessory to have. So maybe people will cop it and just kind of have it for the seasonal holidays. It's definitely an item that I'll probably go for and add to my cart. Another item is the stocking stuffer that was expected to restock, which is the Supreme Lipstick, major W. The retail on that item is $38. Current highest bid on StockX is $80. It's a restock, so it might dip a little bit, but even after shipping, you're be paying like 50 bucks yeah that's a major w like that's gonna be the piece i go for if this video doesn't get 3500 likes first item lipstick mandatory and if the video gets 3500 likes first item i'm gonna go for is this supreme mortal Kombat arcade game that i really don't want to cop <laughs> uh this actually might resell i'm not gonna lie to you guys it might resell it might not i have nowhere to put it to be honest if i cop it i'll probably just sell it to a local store for retail maybe i end up posting on rope and poppy if it resold for crazy amounts like for a cheap price but the shipping and everything is just gonna be such a hassle with this piece i don't know man it's it's a pretty expensive piece i also don't know if StockX will actually sell this piece which also affects the market there's a lot of different things that could actually make this resale it is 700 dollars. a lot of people expect this to be several thousand but if you look a lot of these arcade games that are released from this brand arcade one up are only like 400 bucks they're not that expensive but i could see a lot of people wanting this or a lot of rich people in la i know zach has a little arcade collection i imagine this has got to go in there he's probably already got one secured and then a lot of stores would want this as well it would make sense as to why you would want this piece but i personally have nowhere to put this so yeah like i said if the video gets 3500 likes i'll buy it and i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do with it not to mention because this piece is such a large item i would expect there to still be a shipping charge even though it's over 200 if shipping is factored in on this price i would be actually shocked like i would genuinely be amazed it seems like they do that with a lot of pieces but if they do that with this piece i will genuinely like show love to supreme because shipping this item would cost anywhere from like two to three hundred dollars i shipped a freaking chair yesterday and it was a hundred bucks so just imagine how much this is going to be to ship then you got the vladimir putin pew, pew. Walk, walk, leash, walk. i don't know why that young leash song just came in my head i just had to vibe with it but anyway you have the vladimir putin russian hype beast essential right here you got a little face mask beanie with the face mask on it Pretty cool item. Maybe the zombie apocalypse will affect the price tag. I'm not quite sure. That being said, it's $78 retail and I will be passing on this piece. I will say I did sleep on the face mask small box zip up and that piece is actually doing pretty good when it comes to resale. You have these honeycomb ripstop camp caps. Maybe olive or black, but honestly, close up. These items look a little bit faded and I don't really like the color of them. They still might do all right. I think I have the most faith in the olive and black, but that being said, um, I'm not a big fan of these camp caps. I know a lot of camp caps have been doing fairly well and been selling a little a little bit over retail but i feel like it's a little bit harder of a product to move for most people and like i said these colors suck you got the double logo face mask which i have no idea why this is a thing you literally pull it down and it's kind of like it pushes another it's like it pushes a face mask out of its own uterus it's like it's giving birth to a face mask but it's got the same logo so it's just giving birth to the same it's got like a logo up here you pull the face mask down it's got a logo right here it just looks weird it doesn't really look like it would be a face mask it's just a weird vibe like the only thing they could add to this to make it even more weird 
weird is a little ball sack on the top a little pom-pom you got the quilted flannel shirt now this is very like middle of the mall flannel colorway right here this ain't no middle of the mall shit short butt shit and we don't rock with that middle of the mall shit you know what i'm saying i like almost anything old english this thing could say jacob's a bitch or jacob smokes dick and i would probably like it if it was a decent flannel colorway and the embroidery on the back was old english that being said it says supreme on the back i don't mind that i love the old english branding across the back but these flannel colorways are just so trash i cannot convince myself to cop them and at 148 dollars it might as well say jacob smoking dick because i would have to be smoking dick if i'm going to buy this flannel for 148 dollars even though i did get the shadow plant flannel but that flannel was freaking gorgeous and by the way i don't want to be a negative nancy a crying karen an emo emily a debbie downer a sad sally i don't want to be any of those individuals so please understand when i am negative on these job lists i do not like being negative like i don't want to spread negativity if you like any of these pieces and you want to copy any of these pieces fuck my personal opinion will the flannel resell or a lot of these pieces resell probably not but when it comes to your personal wants fuck what anyone's got to say wear what you want to wear regardless the measure of a man is not determined by the clothes that he puts on his back so like i said these are just my opinions please take them as that i do not want to offend anyone or be a dick to anyone that's just a quick little disclaimer now moving on you have this globe zip up hoodie um, this zip up hoodie, I'm not gonna get, I don't like the zip up hoodies. I will say the, uh, Alpha Industries jackets they did, like the, like, bomber jackets, actually are doing pretty well. When it comes to the zip up hoodie, I don't really have as much faith in it. I do think the $168 price tag is justified. It's got cool embroidery on the hood, and in order to do that hood embroidery, it is a little bit more difficult. Essentially, what you have to do is you have to have, like, two layers, so your embroidery is on the hood. The backing is inside, like in between the two layers in the hood. So it has to be embroidered before the hoodie is put together and sewn together. It's one of the reasons why I've always appreciated hood embroidery because otherwise you're going to have a huge backing on the inside of the hood, which is extremely unlikely. I just think it looks really dope. And I think that when a brand like this does it, granted it's mass produced, but I do respect it. Not to mention embroidery like this, if this was done on like a single piece at an embroidery shop, it would cost like 40 to $60. Now it probably cost them like 40 to $60 for the entire hoodie, but I'm just letting you know like that's what it would cost if you were to do one of these at an embroidery shop now you have the script logo six panel this thing is ugly it's got the little supreme branding right there and if you did not know it was supreme you got a full 360 script like, little supreme signature branding around the entire thing very similar to the trench coat that dropped earlier you have this velour half zip which is absolutely hideous but it will feel will 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 feel like a panda bear's pubic hair it's gonna feel absolutely delicious so freaking soft because it is the velour but it's also really ugly so you know like give and take i'm definitely not gonna get it uh so you can take it and last but not least probably the worst piece i've ever seen from supreme and that is not an exaggeration you have this like oversized crew neck sweater and it's got this like varsity style once again going back to the old days where we talked about the american flag pieces this is the perfect piece if your name is brock chad brad or really any bro names uh that being said you got this collegiate spell out which i do not mind i love collegiate pieces this like t-shirt print thing going on is so fucking ugly like why didn't they just do the spell out and the xxll or you know xxx why did they just do that like why do you have to do the weird shirt outline that stops on the back like it's only the front so it's just this random like it's the weirdest crew neck so ugly i hate it i absolutely despise it it's like maybe if it was paneled i would appreciate it a little bit more but it's like literally printed on like it's not cut and so it's just a t-shirt like the front of a t-shirt printed on the front of a crew neck the back is normal like it's weird and it is a hundred and fifty eight dollars so yes you already know what i'm going to say supreme is smoking cock at that price but anyways thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys like the video i may do a live cop if the video gets enough love if it does not then i will not do it but uh yeah man as always keep this alive peace the how i did that a little bit early but smash the like button down below show some love in the comments follow me on instagram the starlight -T -S -T if you want to secure your items from this release or really any supreme release and any sneaker release any clothing release any release whatsoever make sure you check out the top link in the description and now Keep them the star life. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep them the star life. I said that like three times now. Peace. The fuck. Out. Wow, I actually just dropped my camera. Okay. Bang, bitch. Holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county. Tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.